everyone, my name is Ksenia and today I'm going to talk about five things that you should tell your kid about wrestling. Okay, we, young people who watch wrestling, millennials, we are going to be responsible for bringing up the next generation of wrestling fans, which is a great responsibility. So I have been thinking of some things that I personally feel like young wrestling fans should definitely be aware of and should know. I myself have been watching wrestling since I was 11 years old, which is, as I've learned from some American fans, not that long, because some American fans start watching when they're five or six or seven. But me, as someone who lives outside of the US, for me, it was a bit of an early start in a good way, because where I live, wrestling is not that popular, so I got into it pretty early for my surroundings. But as a consequence, there were not many people around me who knew stuff about wrestling. So there are certain things that I'm thankful I learned, and then there are certain things that I wish I would have learned earlier. So I decided that I'd share. Number one. Okay, I'm diving headlong into this. Please don't click off after I say it. Tell your kid wrestling is fake. I know, that's like the horrible, that one horrible thing to say. Let's not use the word fake, because I myself hate it when people just come up to me and go like, hey, wrestling is fake. I mean, tell your kid that wrestling is staged. As early as possible, because when I started watching wrestling, I was, as I said, 11, and my dad told me almost immediately. And I'm so thankful for that, because it gave me a whole new perspective. While some people who are my age, or who are maybe a little bit younger than me, right now, where I live, think that wrestling is real and competitive, and they view it so differently than I do, which is kind of unhealthy, and I'll explain why a little bit later on, but I feel like for a healthy, balanced, smart, wrestling fan, it's very important to know that wrestling is staged as early as possible because if you do know that, you are capable of appreciating it in so many other ways. So many ways that people who think it's real can't because you can appreciate the storylines, you can analyze the storylines, you can make more informed predictions, you can appreciate someone's work as a face or as a heel and you can see character development. So telling your child that wrestling is fake is not going to ruin their childhood. It's going to give them so much more opportunities to enjoy wrestling in so many other ways. So I feel like the earlier you learn the stage, the better, and the more you can enjoy it later on as an adult. Number two, no hate. Tell your child that hating wrestlers is not okay. That is to say, hating wrestlers based on their character. That's exactly why I said that not knowing that wrestling is staged is unhealthy for a fan because some people, some grown ass people, people my age, people older than me, sometimes base their personal opinion on a wrestler, on their character, which is just vile. We should completely <laughs> eradicate this narrative. It's just so unhealthy and so mean and so draining to fans who are aware that wrestling is staged. I mean, even booing someone while you're in the arena during the event, it's a part of the experience, right? It's all just this game that we all play. Because you can boo someone and then you can come across them at access or at a signing and be like, hey, I love your work because you're a great heel. And it's one of the most important things to learn for the wrestling community to stay kind. Just let's not bully wrestlers, come on, it's 2K18. Say no to bullying, especially when it comes to people who work their asses off and who do so much to entertain you. Number three, give women's wrestling a chance. The earlier you tell your kid that women's matches are not pee break matches and that women are not just eye candy for you, are not just there for you to enjoy, they're just as much of very well-trained, incredibly skilled athletes as men are. Because the real women's wrestling evolution happens when we as a community and the next generation of fans as a community accept it as a real thing, not just brush it off, not just use it as a, a kitchen break match and just see it 
as valid and equal to men's wrestling. Don't judge female wrestlers based on their appearance. Don't see them as just models or bodybuilders. They are wrestlers. That's the entire point. And I so hope that by the time that the new generation of fans grows up, women's wrestling would be at a so much higher level than it is nowadays. And even WWE is working towards it, which is wonderful. But still, I feel like it's a very important thing to tell your kids straight away, tell your kid that those are the girls who are paving the way, who are making it all possible for the women's revolution. Number four, support what you love. It sounds very obvious, but it's a key point because whatever you love, be it wrestling or football or any other sport or maybe some band, it's very important to represent. <laughs> no, but really, I mean, it's very important to support wrestlers that you love, promotions that you love, because to you, it's just a nice way to show off that you're a fan of someone, a nice thing to have, but for them, uh, you are a part of the statistic in a good way. For them, it's another person that buys their merch, that wants to represent, that wants to support them. Believe me, it doesn't go unnoticed. Even asking WWE shop on Twitter for someone's shirt eating them does count as well. It might not sound like much, but it's something that is very important. And if you say you love wrestling, don't just sit there and love wrestling. You should do something for your favorite wrestler, you should do something for your favorite promotion, you should support your local promotion, you should just be present in the community and try to make even the slightest of a difference if you really do care for the community. Number five, it's okay to love a wrestler who isn't the best technical wrestler in the promotion. Hear me out! <laughs> Some of my absolute favorite wrestlers are not the best of the best technical wrestlers. I really love The Miz, I really love people who have character, people who have charisma, people who are unique and who are entertaining, because in the end of the day, it's sports entertainment. Of course, the sports aspect is very, very important, no one's denying that, but it's totally okay to support a wrestler who you like because of some other reasons. Maybe they are very good on the mic, maybe you just like the fight that they give you. I've been standing Miz for as long as I can remember, for 10 plus years, and when I was younger, I got kind of picked on for that in online communities. Everyone was like, oh, he's not a wrestler, he's a reality TV star, you have bad taste. What I love the most about wrestling is that it's not a sport, it's not something competitive, it's a show. And you are allowed to like any character in the show, anyone who speaks to you at any level. Maybe you relate to them in a certain way. Maybe in them they're just combined things that you just genuinely love about people. And it's a hundred percent okay. They are all there for a reason. They are there for you to love them. We have this whole entire roster of all different characters exactly because different people love different things. So tell your kid that it's totally okay to not conform to everyone's opinion and to like someone that other people might not like as much and maybe to not like the top faces or top heels of the company and support a jobber because in wrestling you never know. Any jobber can become a WWE champion in no time. I mean, look at Jinder Mahal. Don't hinder gender. So yeah, all wrestlers deserve love and all wrestlers deserve to be supported. At the end of the day, their job is entertaining you and making you happy. And if you express how happy they make you, it's the tiniest thing that you can give back to thank them for it. So thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe if you want to, or you can find me on social media. I'll put the links down below. Uh, I'm at Ksenia Did That on almost every social media. So yeah, goodbye. Oh God, I'm going to be like the worst mom. I'm going to be the Harry Potter mom and the WWE mom. And if my kid doesn't like that,